Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2016 Bobcat T650 rubber track skid steer loader. This machine is in very nice condition. It does have 3,295 hours. It was a one owner machine, uh, but the machine mechanically uh, is in very good condition. The white paint's all original. Yes, there's some scratches and scrapes, but it's in very nice shape. The cab is all original. We did not paint the cab. The only thing we did do is the undercarriage in the back door. This unit has brand new Bobcat Earth Force brand 18 inch wide tracks on it. We just put on. I did put two brand new sprockets on to match the brand new tracks. It has a Bobcat roller suspension system. The ride on this machine is absolutely beautiful. Uh, again, it is a T650 and it is a 2016 model. So come on back here. We're going to take you around this machine like we normally do and show you everything about it. So the back door itself is actually very nice. All but one spot right here. I have no idea how he did it. He dented that right there pretty good. But the rest of the door is straight and solid. Door shuts with no issue. Uh, but I just want everybody to know that and telling you the truth. So um, unit we've had in the shop. 3294 we did a complete and full service powered by a 74 horsepower bobcat four-cylinder turbo diesel engine starts and runs great there's no abnormal noise smoke blow by anything out of the ordinary whatsoever uh, there is no error codes in this machine everything is clean and ready to go i did buy all oem bobcat filters <coughs> including excuse me fuel engine oil air hydraulic uh, everything we needed to do a complete full service and we did also do the uh, cabin air filters see our back door shuts good a couple little dings down in the bottom um, back bumper which is to be expected on a used machine we chose to leave all the white paint alone here it is chipped up along the edge but the rest of it is so nice and original uh, we just wanted to let it alone the machine actually is it very tight. It is not play. They have a bunch of play in it. Uh, the guy believed in owning a grease gun and using it. This thing had massive service grease on it. You can see in between the pins and bushings, especially a guy that did not service the machine, there will be gaps actually wore in between the pin and the bushing where he run the pin dry and it really run into the uh, pin boss and, and wore it in. Um, we did end up, we resealed both lift cylinders uh, just because they were damp. You know, we didn't want to cause anybody a problem. They try to go over our stuff. A lot of guys do not. They buy stuff at an auction and put her online for sale. Uh, that's not me. That's not my MO and I'm not going to do that. Comes with a very nice Bobcat 80 inch bucket. This is a heavy duty Bobcat 80 inch bucket with removable teeth. And you can see here, all the teeth are like new. Um, these two had a little bit of wear on them, but the rest of them are like brand new uh, and in very good condition. Coming up front, quick catch is in very good shape. It's tight, uh, not a bunch of play in it at all. There's no leaks on any of the tilt cylinders. Now, I want everybody to understand something. Yes, you could put a power bob attach cylinder back on this machine. It originally had power bob attach. I know for a fact that it damaged the cylinder. I did not get the cylinder with it, but I want to show everybody what they did. Removed the cylinders, but the lugs are here, and they did pull the hoses out of the boom, and they have been capped right here. Okay, you can re buy a set of hoses from Bobcat. They go right back down the boom. You can buy the cylinder, and I'm going to assume it's probably fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars. So I bought the tracks, went through, did my service work. I just don't have the room in the machine to put that back on, and I'm just being honest. Okay, guy wants to do it. He has the capability to do it. Uh, but I will guarantee you right here, you can see the uh, machine is going to manual latch with no problem at all. You've just seen me do that. Standard flow auxiliary hydraulics, 23 GPM, half inch couplers, K strain 3.8, 7 pin attachment control device. Front door, very, very nice condition. Um, we'll show you here. Glass is like new. Um, Windshield wiper is new. We went ahead and did that. Pop in here. Door shuts good and hard, which is good because it's sealing up nice. So, 3295 on the hours. This machine actually has the auto idle, which is cool. And I'll show you how that works in a second. 14.3 volts. 
the service clock's off, no error codes. Let's go on over here. It has the dock's dash, no active warnings. Here is your volt meters and everything, uh, diagnostic. So one nice thing about this, we'll take this, we'll open her up here, and then the machine will idle back down on its own, which is cool. Right there it did. Uh, which you can still see the throttles up. So as soon as we take and release the green uh, push to operate button, as soon as we load sense, it's gonna set the throttle back up, which is awesome. Uh, if you ever run an excavator, it's gonna have the same thing. Uh, cab heat air, AM, FM radio, MP3. Here is the AC. Uh, one nice thing on these M series, the handles are adjustable forward and back. Dome light works. So this is cool that you can adjust it for different arm lengths to make yourself comfortable running the machine. Uh, and again, here we are back up at our display. No active warnings. Want everybody to know that. Um, does have an H pattern or ISO. Um, I like to run the machine um, in uh, ISO, which is industry standard. So everybody sees this, washer wiper works. Um, everything works in this machine very very nice machine that way again I have had some 2,000 hour track loaders that were not as nice as this machine with 3295 the guy took very good care of this machine um, I'm gonna run this machine in both ISO and in H pattern uh, we will show you that uh, we're gonna run the machine we'll take it down here in the pile and push with it for you uh, a lot of guys do not want to show you that that both sets of controls are working <coughs> excuse me uh, I will do that so that you know. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, fire it up. I'm going to run it around here, show you does everything it's supposed to do. Here we go.
corn, I'm going to speed it up and down off the rabbit and turtle button so you see that that works. When I return back, uh, it's meant to stay at the side there while I'm doing that. Then I'm going to go and show you that the ISO and the uh, H-pattern controls work for your joysticks. Here we go.
machine you're on. Um, I will give Bobcat credit on that roller suspension. Um, you know, years ago when they first came out with it, I didn't know what to think of it. Uh, the more I run the machines with the roller suspension, the more I absolutely like them. That thing has a great ride. The reason I'm back here in the yard and twisted and turned, I did a little bit of that here, but I want everybody to see, I have some machines right now up in the road that we're getting ready to get through that are 2,000 iron machines that have play in the boom. They do. It's because the guy doesn't know what a grease gun is, okay? This thing, you've seen me throwing that back and forth, and you don't see the boom going like this. It's tight. Um, you know, that to me, when I'm looking at a machine, I, I want stuff like that to be right. So, all the glass is in the cab. It is a cab, heat, air, joystick machine, wide track, roller suspension, AM, FM radio, keyless dash. It is loaded up other than that power bob attached cylinder. It has it. It is there on the hydraulics. You need a cylinder and a hose kit. Um, brand new tracks. Um, brand new sprockets. We did do the hub wheels. We've done all the filters on the machine. I have absolutely nothing to hide here. I know this is a good machine. Uh, there'll be a million guys calling. Oh, they don't want to hear it. I went through it. I know what it is. This isn't some auction junker. Okay, if that's what you're after. Go find one somewhere else. I don't mean that to be disrespectful. But I get through my stuff, know what I have, and, and this is a nice, clean machine. So if you've got any questions, want to come by and see it yourself in person, you're more than welcome to do so. But here is a machine I guarantee to be 110% the way I state it is. So if you have any questions, um, give us a call, 814-658-3066. Check our website, www.marksupplyco.com. Uh, check us out on Tractor House, Machinery Trader, and on eBay at Mark Supply 88. This is why we take the time here at Mark Supply Company to take a machine, put it in the pile, run it through all of its stuff. You show me another dealer out there that's doing to the extent of what I'm doing to accurately represent a machine, and I'll do better. But I don't know what else I can do to help people. This is what we're doing. This is what we do do every day of the week. So, again, any questions, 814-658-3066. Again, I'm Nick Miller. Thank you very much. Check out Mark Supply Company. Have a great day.